There is a massive Bitcoin crash coming anytime soon and on today's update video I will be discussing this, the most important charts and patterns on the imminent short term, Bitcoin, what it is going to be doing next, how this consolidation phase is most likely going to be ending and many more important signals we need to talk about right now and the most important consolidation phases will of course be discussed including the liquidations and liquidity in the market. So without any further ado, don't forget to once again slap that like button back above 800 likes that will be highly appreciated and with that of being said let me jump straight away towards the imminent short term so if i am looking at the imminent short term of bitcoin yesterday of course we clearly saw that bitcoin had a massive correction towards the downside we recovered all the way back up to the upside again here and currently it still looks like we're trading in somewhat of a downward sloping trend here but here what you can clearly see in the four league time frame is that indeed we're creating a lower high structure still in this market but we're also creating potentially a higher low structure but for this to be getting confirmed we first need to see of course that higher low getting confirmed and like i said in yesterday's video if bitcoin were to come down towards my orange box here on the lower side I am going to be opening up more than a million US dollars worth of Bitcoin buy orders around this level. And in yesterday's video, I exactly explained about why I'm planning to do so and why I also do clearly believe that if Bitcoin were to be creating another leg down, it's only going to be a greater and bigger opportunity at the end of the day here. So I am quite bullish on Bitcoin, whether we're going to be breaking lower or not. I think we're ultimately going to be sitting higher for Bitcoin. So if I'm going to be talking about what I said in the intro, Bitcoin is going to be having a massive crash towards the downside. It is of course an inverted chart and it's just to show you and indicate you that indeed this retest which we are currently getting is a beautiful retest for the next lag downwards or of course if I just re-invert the chart again here back to normal another break towards the upside. So Bitcoin its chart is just looking extremely bullish right now here. I don't believe that there is any reason to be getting worried about the bitcoin price action right now on the imminent short term or especially on the longer term because this bitcoin weekly retest is in my opinion just looking enormously bullish and yes the point where bitcoin indeed is going to see that next rejection or that next move towards the upside of course if the chart is just normal we are just going to be moving in a very rapid pace just like we did in the previous bull markets and so far we've not seen it yet and always once bitcoin breaks above these levels it tend to be moving very quickly just like we've always done in history and so far we have not seen that move yet here and all we're seeing right now is just some calm before the storm before bitcoin is absolutely going to be breaking out here and also i discussed it on previous videos we're actually seeing full moon and it sounds quite silly but historically speaking for the last five times we got full moon bitcoin bumped significantly towards the upside every single time so so why won't it happen this time around once again full moon is flashing and usually once full moon flashes we tend to see the bitcoin price action just going once again even more exponential towards the upside also <clears throat> if i'm looking right now at the imminent short term on bitcoin all we want to be seeing right now in the daily time frame is also to see bitcoin break above that daily rsi downtrend and the moment we do break above the daily RSI downtrend is going to be probably the point also where the next <coughs> real leg is going to get started moving. So right now we've still not seen Bitcoin breaking above the daily RSI downtrend. But the moment we do break above that level is going to be the point where Bitcoin is most likely going to be moving the most exponential. So keep your eyes wide open on this level because whenever we do break above this level, I'm expecting that next big move is going to be happening. And I mean, we're looking at all kinds of consolidation phases on the Bitcoin price action. You can just clearly see Bitcoin has moved up very quickly in a very rapid pace towards the upside. And for the first time in this very rapidly moving pace towards the upside consolidation phase, we're seeing some consolidation. And I mean, if I'm going to be looking at this consolidation phase right here, it lasted for about 67 days here. Right now, this consolidation phase is 60 days. And if we're looking at the consolidation uh, before that, it was about 217 days. So what we can see is that this consolidation was the longest, then it got shorter, and now it's even shorter, but the move has not been initiated yet. But I do believe that the window for this consolidation phase is 60 to 100 days. So right now we're 60 days in, and I think that we are most likely going to be closer towards the next breakout than at the beginning of the consolidation phase. So I think, yes, we're about to be having that next move getting initiated, and we should be looking, of course, at these consolidation phases. And, of course, 
we're creating a Bitcoin bull flag. At the same time, we're also creating an ascending triangle. We're creating many, many interesting patterns. I am keeping my full attention towards. And <clears throat> basically, what is the most important right now is to see Bitcoin holding this downward sloping support line. Because if we do break below that level, we could be quite fucked. But also at the same time, we're creating a downward sloping support line. So basically, Bitcoin is in an enormous bull flag pattern. And whenever we're going to be seeing the breakout of this pattern, I expect that the next move towards the upside is going to be happening. And we're going to see a very, very exponential move upward. And just like I said, we're about to be having that next move. You could currently claim a free $200 trade on Bitcoin or Ethereum on Bybit. All you need to do here is sign up an account using this link below of today's video. Then you come to this website, press on register to claim. After you sign up an account, you only need to deposit $100 in your first seven days. And boom! you will get a free $200 trade. And of course, if it's profitable, you could make thousands of dollars from only a $100 deposit. So if you're interested in that, make sure to check it out in the link description of today's video. You will also still have your $100 to do something else with. So it's a free $200 you could be claiming. If you're interested in trading, check it out in the link description of today's video. But Bybit is by far the best trading exchange out there. Of course, we are still looking at the funding rates, which are still negative, which means the majority of the traders are actually trading short in this market. And, and that is for me, as a long trader right now, very bullish. And if I'm looking at the liquidations, I can clearly see that the majority of the liquidations are not being built up below us, but significantly above us. You can clearly see the difference. If we're going to be going towards an approximately, what is it, 74K in price, we're going to see more than $10 billion of liquidations. And if we go all the way down to $56,000, it's only going to be about, what is it, $3 billion in liquidation. So there's a way more liquidity being built up on the top side. And it's going to be extremely likely the Bitcoin is indeed going to be taking out all that liquidity on that top side, which is going to be happening inevitably at some point in the market. Because if we're looking at the liquidation heat map, we can see that clearly the most amount of liquidity is being built up above us. And even right now in the imminent short term, if I also would probably place it to the one week, you can clearly see there's right now liquidity on the short term being built up above us. And it's an approximately, what is it, like 900 million to a billion dollars in liquidations. So most likely on the imminent short term, we're going to see another push towards the upside. But of course, also in the monthly time frame, the majority of the liquidity is being built up above us. And Bitcoin always follows the liquidity. And that's why it's going to be extremely likely that Bitcoin is going to be creating that another move towards the upside and take out that liquidity on the top side for the market. So Bitcoin on the daily time frame, creating that big bull flick pattern. Whenever we're going to be breaking out, I think that next bull market lag is going to get started. And most likely, we're going to search above $100,000 and beyond. And yes, if I'm looking at the daily time frame for Bitcoin, any 20% correction in this bull market would be a gift you should be taking with both hands, in my opinion. And right now, since the last halving, of course, if we're looking at the last halving, what did Bitcoin do afterwards? It was extremely boring. It went sideways for a couple weeks. And what is really happening? Bitcoin is, of course, just had the halving. And if it right now goes sideways for a couple weeks, so be it. It wouldn't be all too bad. And I mean, what happened afterwards was, of course, that the big, enormous Bitcoin bull market started. So I think something similar is happening. So more consolidation and then that next lag towards the upside is getting initiated. So the longer it's going to be staying boring on Bitcoin, the bigger the move eventually is going to be. But don't worry. We are at the beginning stages of the bull market. The lower we're actually going to go at this point, the bigger the opportunity is going to get. So if you want to be embracing this opportunity, subscribe to the channel, watch the videos to learn more about it. But anyways, this was it for me in today's video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out. Goodbye.